How do you, how do I, the contributor, how do I know which journal that I should be sending my article to? That is, what are the criteria for making that decision? That one I'll see for Tom. Okay. Right? <laughs> um, whatever topic you're writing on, somebody else has written about it somewhere else. Hopefully not exactly what you're writing on, because that's an awful thing to find out. When, when I was doing my doctoral work, there was a person who was well into kind of writing the kind of first three chapters and discovered a dissertation that had been published last year uh, about exactly the same topic, so she had to kind of backpedal and do some other things. Anyway, you have to ground what you're writing in in the work of others, and I would encourage uh, prospective authors to look at where that work has been published. You know, so, in fact, if you're writing about a particular topic, there's always a journal that will publish manuscripts, journal articles ab about that particular topic. And then I encourage them to go to that journal and see what sorts of things get published. So people have an understanding of the types of journals in your field that are, that are either in Canada or in North America or the rest of the world. And from that, each journal has a statement of policy. It will say, we publish manuscripts about this and this and this. So that, that usually, people come up with a kind of a list of things that are appropriate, or venues that are appropriate and not, not appropriate. Uh, I think there's a lot of geography papers that could have gone into any number of journals. There are very few that are, are really, you know, so narrowly focused that there's only one or two places they could possibly go. Uh, Often uh, the, the the rejection out of hand uh, by the editor before going to to review is a suggestion that it, it, it should go elsewhere. And normally for me, that's outside of uh, outside of geography. Um, but it, that's a very difficult decision. I would say if you're writing a paper and you don't cite a single article in that journal, uh, then you're not contributing to the, the conversation that we're trying to put together as editors. Uh, and ideally more than one. Okay, well, my own answer would be you should think about what is the top tiered journal in your discipline. Because that's where you want to publish. And then you have to ask yourself the question, is this paper appropriate for that particular journal? So my, my advice to all of my students is start at the top. And that's where you should make your first submission. Now, if you tell yourself that this is not going to make a substantive contribution to the discipline or to the knowledge base, then my response is, why the hell are you writing the paper? Don't bother people with trivia. So you start at the top. You may not end at the top, OK? You may end up, you know, three tiers. <laughs> with our journals. <laughs> <laughs> but you should start at the top. You should be convinced that what you're saying is making a substantial contribution. And then go for the top. Yeah. Now, yeah. you've convinced yourself that this is a substantive contribution to the discipline. All right. Now you're going to that, to that top tier journal. Question is, what does that top tier journal produce? What does it publish? So you go to that and you have to actually read some of the articles in the last year or two about what is published in that particular journal. Now, if you go to a journal and you see that the, the, uh, the publication of that journal is using massive databases with highly sophisticated statistical kinds of anal analytical techniques that we're talking about logistic regression and then we're talking about hierarchical statistical something or other, and you're doing a qualitative paper then it probably won't fit in there. It probably won't be accepted in that particular journal. But you won't know that until you actually go in to read. So you have to go and read those, <coughs> those particular top tier journals to see what it is that they publish, and then go from there. If I may to say too, I'm going to venture to say something that would be important here because it's certainly important in, in book length publication. Is one of the reasons it's important to do this kind of research is because, as we all know, research, especially in some areas, can get very old very quickly. And um, some people would say there's kind of there, there's an unfair prejudice against you know we all love new stuff everywhere everywhere in life, right? So if if, if you don't sort of 
pick your your journal carefully, you may waste six or eight months. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to send it to another journal that, that would be a better fit. So you want to find that out right away. And, and I guess that, thanks for raising that, Kel, because I think there's uh, there's kind of an unwritten norm that when you make a submission to a peer review journal, you can only do it one at a time. Okay. So if you're going to submit it to Ian's journal then you can't be sending it off to another journal at the same time. You've got to wait until Ian writes back to you saying, sorry, it's, uh, it's not acceptable, etc." And then you go to the next journal. Now, for commercial presses, it's a slightly different story. Sometimes commercial presses will allow you to make multiple submissions simultaneously. But others will not. Uh, particularly scholarly presses are not... Uh, enamored by the fact that you're making multiple simultaneous Ooh, very submissions. Very bad form. Never do that. Never do that. Yeah. Perhaps just as, as, as an aside to this question, I, I just want to caution prospective authors. Do not think that by citing the editor in your publication is <laughs> <laughs> going to get you any preferential treatment. Um, I've been privileged enough in my own academic life to, to write on a variety of, of issues around adult education, but it's really quite interesting to read you know, uh, a submission about nothing I've written about, but there's my name stuck in there somewhere, and I think people think that that's going to get them kind of onto the next level, and it doesn't work, you know, it just gets my back up. So.